In this video, we'll see how to embed a collision sound inside a 3D mesh. Once you have your object in the scene, you can click over Blueprint, Add Script, give it a name, and choose a folder where to save it. And I think I'm gonna save it inside my audio file. And click Select. Meshes by default do not have a collision mesh, so we need to create one. Select your static mesh, click on Add Component, and search for Collision. And here you have a bunch of choices. I'm gonna use the second one. Once you have adjusted the collision mesh size so that it covers the entire uh, volume of your object, you can scroll down uh, in the detail panel and search for on component being overlap and click on this plus icon. It will create a on component being overlap inside its event graph. From here we can uh, drag out and create a spawn sound attached. We connect the attached to component to the overlapped component. And we can choose a audio file so that we can test. As you have probably heard, there were multiple instances of the audio file being played at a very short delayed time. So to avoid that, we can use a do once note. It will trigger the sound just once. So we can apply uh, a delay and set it to, let's say, one second. We take its completed output and send it to the reset so that we have to wait at least one second to trigger the sound once again. Now let's improve the overall sound quality of our leaves. We can start by creating a sound cue, so click on Add, Import, Sounds and Sound Cue. And here I have the three audio files I want to use, so I select them, I open my sound queue, and import the three audio files. Connect each of them to a random module and finally to a modulator, so that we can ap apply a few changes in pitch and volume. Now inside the event graph of our 3D mesh, we can change the audio file with our Bush sound cue. As you have probably heard, we can still hear the sound of rustling when we are outside the collision capsule. To fix this, we need to create a on component and overlap. So click in the viewport, select your capsule collision, under detail panel, select on component and overlap. As we did for the uh, being overlap component, we need to apply a do once and then drag out from the return value of spawn sound attached and connect it to a fade out. So when the collision ends, we can trigger the fade out. But don't forget to use the delay node for the second do once as well. So we need to use a sequence here and send its first output to the upper do once and the second one to uh, this one. Define a fade out time, something like 0 0.4, and we can play the game. I think we can uh, use a longer fade out duration, so let's use 0 0.6. Now, 
we need to do a little bit of debugging so we could face a situation where the spawn sound attached has already finished and the fade out node it's trying to fade out a sound that does not exist i think we can uh, test this by playing multiple times and here you can see the runtime error what is saying is that the fade out node it's trying to fade out the audio component which is off so to fix that we need to connect the do once to a is valid module and connect your spawn sound attached to its input object now we are asking the blueprint system to verify if the spawn sound attached is still playing if so the condition is valid and we can fade out uh, the sound of course if we exit the capsule collision you can create multiple instances of the same object and move through them so you can hear the different results in order to get the audio file accessible even from the detail panel we need to create a sound variable and make it public so we can expose it to uh, the detail panel to do so we click on variable we name it such as uh, my sound collision in its detail panel you can set the variable type to sound base object reference and click on compile here under default value you should see the name you decided to give to your variable and this icon where we can set uh, the bush sound cue now we just need to take our uh, variable drop it in the blueprint editor and get my variable and connect it to the sound input of our spawn sound attached and finally select your variable and click on this little icon so that you can see the open eye now compile and save and now by selecting your uh, 3d mesh in the viewport you should see in the detail panel its uh, corresponding sound Music